This one, personally, um... It tastes disgusting! Today I'm going to be filming a product empties, products that I've used up video. I have quite a few products that I have accumulated and I don't kind of like to, you know, put in too many products because I do like to kind of do little mini reviews on the products for you guys. So let me just get straight onto it. So the first one that I have finished up is the Nivea Pure and Natural Cleansing Lotion. Um, I would repurchase this again. I didn't really like it very much. Um, it was okay. I don't know. I don't really like these supermarket uh, cleansers, skincare products anymore because I just don't feel like they do anything for my skin. So I won't be really repurchasing any products from like Nivea or Garnier or anything like that. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Didn't really, didn't really do much as most of them don't. Moving on. The next thing that I finished up is a body... The next thing I have finished up is a shower gel, and this is the original source. Um, get out her, get out. Original source mint and tea tree shower gel. I really, really like original source products. I think that they smell amazing. This one, personally, um, it tastes disgusting. I'm sorry. I'm just doing Miranda Sings all the time. I can't stop saying her voice. This one smelled quite um, strong and what I, the funny thing is about me is that whenever I'm in the shower I have to smell every single product that I put on me. Don't know why, I've smelled them 150 times before but I have to smell every single product. So every time I would go to smell this it would go into my eye and then it would burn for about five minutes. So I kept doing it to myself. Anyways, um, yeah, I like, really like these products, but I wouldn't purchase this one again because it was just a little bit too strong and it wasn't really my type of scent. The next thing that I finished up was the Astralis Makeup Finishing Spritz. Um, you know, to be honest with you, I don't really find that this does anything. I don't even really find it takes away from like the powdery kind of cakey look sometimes that you can get um, with your makeup. And I don't really feel like it keeps my makeup on for longer, but at the same time as that, now that I've run out of it, I'm kind of like having withdrawals. Like I kind of want to purchase it now. So I feel like it must do something because now I'm like, oh, I really need to purchase that again. But I don't really think that it does anything. So I don't know, conflicting. But I do like it, I guess. But I don't really feel like it does anything. But I just kind of like it anyway. Next thing that I finished up was the Batiste Dry Shampoo. Once again, with dry shampoos, sometimes I feel like I need them. Sometimes I feel like I don't need them. This was just the Sassy and Daring Wild one. And let me just say, does anybody else not, can, can anybody else not smell this? Like, you know sometimes when people say how, how nice flowers smell? Whenever I smell flowers, I just smell dirt, like straight up dirt. Same thing with the Batiste Dry Shampoos. Everyone's like, I love the tropical scent, I love the blush scent. They all smell like the same thing to me, which is baby powder. So I don't get it for the scent, but I do like having a dry shampoo just in case my hair is a little bit greasy. I don't feel like it gets greasy very often, but, you know, just to kind of have it there in case... Um, you know, whatever. And I just get the taste because everyone talks about how amazing it is. Um, so I get it. The next thing that I finished up is the Neutrogena Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. Really, really like this stuff. Removes um, eye makeup amazingly. I find it funny that it says it's oil free and that it has no oily residue because to me, I feel like I'm just putting oil all over my face with this um, or my eyes. But um, I mean, it says it doesn't have any oil, so I'm gonna gonna go with what they're saying. But I do really like it. Removes waterproof eye makeup really, really well. Removes really stubborn makeup really well. It's amazing. This is my second bottle, and I will be repurchasing another one. Then I finished up a candle, which is from Dusk, and this is the Connoisseur Cafe Collection Lemon Sorbet Candle. Um, I did like the scent of this, and this did smell at my apartment really well. I like these smaller candles because you kind of get through them quicker. I have like a bunch of like, well I have two larger candles out in my living room right now, and I've had them like for so long. One of them I've had since I moved here, and they just take so long to burn, and you kind of like get over it and you want to get new ones. So I like this little small one, but it smells really, really nice. I love lemon scents. Then I finished up a perfume, which is very, very surprising because I don't normally finish up perfumes. This is JLo's... Um, um, what is this called actually? I think I don't know. Live Luxe Perfume. Um, I think my mum got this for me last year from like 
what's that place? Duty Free. I did really like this perfume. I probably wouldn't um, repurchase it again just because it wasn't like overly amazing but I did really like the scent of it. The next thing that I finished up was tea and I normally wouldn't include tea um, because I finish up teas all the time but I just thought that I would include this one into this video. This is the Twinings Raspberry and Dragon Fruit Sensation Tea. Because I'm a fan of herbal teas I know for a fact this isn't overly old. It is a pretty new tea and I just thought I'd mention it because I didn't like it at first and then I kind of like a quieter taste to it but I'll show you guys something in a minute. If you have ever tasted the, or tasted, if you've ever used the Body Shop Dragon Fruit Lip Butter, I think it was a limited edition product, um, but this smells exactly like that. It is a raspberry and dragon fruit sensation tea, so it does have dragon fruit in it, whatever that is, but I really liked the fact that this tasted exactly like my lip balm. I just thought that was crazy. And oh, no. The packaging is so, so cute. It's such a cute little box and the little um, tea bags inside were pink, like the little packagings. And I just thought I would share it with you guys because this is the prettiest tea ever. Little things like this get to me, as sad as that is. The next thing that I finished up was a foundation. I still have a little bit left of this, but um, it's kind of really hard to get out. So this is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous Foundation. I am in love with this foundation. I think it is amazing. Um, it gives amazing, amazing coverage. It doesn't look cakey. It still looks natural. It's kind of like a uh, satin finish. It wouldn't really say it's a matte, but I am completely obsessed with this. The only thing about these foundations that I hate is that I find it really, really difficult to get a color that matches me. Uh, this one was in 842 and it's probably the closest, but it's a little bit pink based. Um, and I'm more of a yellow based person so I really don't like that factor but I love the foundation to bits it just looks absolutely flawless and I definitely recommend that you get that foundation if you haven't already because it is probably the best drugstore foundation I've ever tried then I finished up a hand wash as exciting as that is this is the Palm Olive Heavenly Hands Foaming Hand Wash in Jasmine it was okay it's not pretty good I have a formula not a formula a original source shower gel the peaches and cream one um, in there at the moment which is a bit nicer but that was a nice one then I finished up the L'Oreal Paris wild ombre preference hair dye I posted this on Instagram um, I liked this it did lighten the ends of my hair it didn't lighten them overly dramatically which was okay but now that I have these hair extensions um, that I have now these aren't as light as what they um, as what they could be if I did ombre my hair. So I won't be ombre my hair again um, just because then these extensions won't match. What I am going to do is I'm going to dye the roots of my hair. So I'm going to kind of dye the roots of my hair a darker brown and then have these lighter brown extensions at the bottom just so um, it kind of looks ombre but I don't have to like touch my hair extensions. But I did like this. If you kind of want to ombre your hair but you don't want to go to a salon, I definitely recommend that you get this. And this was the one for very dark hair and it was the intense effect but it definitely didn't look like that so don't be scared it's just a very subtle kind of well at least on my hair it was a very subtle lighter color next thing I finished up was a core product this is the revitalizing toner I did really like this I'm just not really purchasing core products anymore because I'm getting um, products from my work and I did like this it was okay um, it's just a toner you know what do you do? I finished up a bottle of the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I really do like this. I think that it does remove makeup pretty well. Only thing about this is that, I mean, the first ingredient is water. And what I've learned as a beauty therapist is that if the first ingredient is water, it's probably not really that great. This is pretty cheap. It's like $12. It does remove um, face makeup. I don't remove my eye makeup with this. I just remove face. What I really have been loving lately is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. It's like an oil that completely cleanses off your makeup and I find that it removes makeup a lot better than this. So I will be purchasing that even though it is more expensive. Um, it just works a little bit better, but I really, really do like this for a cheaper alternative. This is I'm on my second bottle now and it is really, really good. Pretty much very similar to Bioderma, but cheaper. I have another um, original source shower gel. This is the vanilla and raspberry. Definitely would have repurchased this again. Smelled absolutely amazing. Didn't burn my eyes, which is a plus. And I do now have the um, hand wash for this now. Then I have that lip butter that I was talking about, the Body Shop Dragon Fruit Lip Butter. I think that this was limited edition, as I said. 
um, because it says the uh, Body Shop Foundation on it, so I think that it was like a charity foundation kind of thing. Smelt really, really good. Absolutely loved it. I really do like the Body Shop lip butters. And as I said, this tea with dragon fruit tea smelt exactly like this. So if you have tried this and you want to try the tea because you like the scent of it or the taste, definitely recommend you try out that tea. And then last but not least, I finished up their foundation. This is the L'Oreal True Match. Once again, I now have a backup of this. Um, this one was in the shade, I'm not sure. And I really... This shade was like okay at first, like I really liked it and then I felt like it just looked really orangey on me. So I'm not sure whether or not it just oxidised, like I maybe I had it for a really long time or I don't really know what happened to it but it just looked really orangey and kind of oompa loompa on me. So I do like the L'Oreal True Match, um, I wouldn't say it's amazing but I do really like it and I think that they've changed up the formulation because the one that I have now doesn't look like this and I think it's in the sh same shade but it's a little lighter so I don't know but I do really like that foundation. But that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this empties. Um, I will continue to do these because I really like kind of showing you guys the products I've finished up and I love watching these sorts of videos as well. And yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I will talk to you all very very soon. Bye!